Welcome, my name is Gus and this robot here is Mark 1. This will be my platform to study robotics, controls, localization, navigation, ROS, and much more. Today I will show how I set up the DC motors to drive the robot and how to control them using a PS4 joystick. The PS4 controller is in what people call tank mode, meaning that the left joystick here commands one motor and the right joystick commands the other motor. Before we go through the electronics, let me show you the project folder. I created a GitHub page where you can find all the information and source code for, the, for this project. The link is in the description and what you have to do here is click in the master branch and change to tags. Then select the tag for video 1. Here in my case is V1.1. But if there is a V1.2 or V1.3, just take the latest one. After that, just click in code and download the zip file. So now you should have a folder structure like that. To see the list of all the hardware used in the project, go to doc folder and open this Excel file Mark 1 bill of material. Here you can find all the components, price, and the links where to God, where I got those. Still in the doc folder, there is an architecture folder, and then this file Mark 1 architecture. You have to open this file in a browser different from Chrome. Chrome has some safety features that blocks it. But after open it, you can see this diagram, which is a web view exported from MATLAB Simlink and it shows how the components are connected to each other. You can even click in these blocks. For example, here in this Raspberry Pi block, you can see the mark01.py script that uses Pygame to read the joystick and the motor hat library from Adafruit to command the motors. So that said, let's see the mm -hmm. hardware. Using the chassis kit that comes with two layers, two TTDC motors and two wheels, I first added to the bottom layer the two motors and the 5 volts battery that will power the Raspberry Pi. In the top layer, I added the Pi and the motor bridge that comes on top of it. The motor's wires goes to M1 and M4. And it's hard to know the polarity for the motor's wires, so just go for it, and in case you see that the motor is going to the opposite direction of what you want, you can just invert them later. At last, I connect the four AA batteries to power the motor with 6 volts. Now it's time to prepare the Pi to run the script. First, let's enable some hardware features, if not enabled yet. So in the Raspberry Pi configuration, I turn on SPI, I2C and the camera that I'm gonna use in a future video. I'm gonna need to reboot after that. Now, you need to install the script dependencies. If you are running the version 10 of the Raspberry Pi OS, you only need to install the Adafruit Motor Hat library. Otherwise, you may need to install Pygame too. Anyway, you can find all the commands in the description. This is version 10, so I just need to install this one. You're also gonna need to install DS4 DRV. This software will be responsible to connect to the PS4 controller over Bluetooth and make it available to the system. The project folder you can download cloning the GitHub project using the command git clone minus b v1.1 in my case, please use the latest one because it may have bug fixes and then 
the project GitHub link. With all this done, let's go to the fun part. Let's first connect the PS4 controller, run the command sudo ds4drv, and then holding the share and PS buttons together until the controller lights starts to blink. Now in another terminal, let's go to the source folder. and run python3 mark01.py This should allow you to drive the robot around and you also can see the commands for motor1 and motor4 So that's it, stay tuned because there's much more to come and thanks for watching.